1944 saw the beginning of a whole new era in hurricane tracking. Using a powerful new tool, radar, military crews began flying into hurricanes to determine their strength and direction. While better tracking could save lives, it could not protect vulnerable coastlines from spiraling property damage. In the early 1960s, scientists believed they had an answer. If only the force of the hurricane's winds could be reduced, the toll in death and damage could be greatly lessened. Is there a way? The way was Project Storm Fury, an active assault on the hurricane. A fleet of planes would drop silver iodide into hurricane clouds. Ice crystals would form, disrupting the storm's delicate heat balance and sapping its strength. But after 20 years, Storm Fury never produced conclusive results. The project was doomed by heavy restrictions on seeding hurricanes too close to land and by doubts about its scientific assumptions. Today, scientists have turned again to tracking hurricanes and improving the accuracy of their forecasts. Advanced satellites allow them to monitor the entire life cycle of a hurricane. But they still lack what they need most, detailed information about the vast tropical environment in which the hurricane forms.